Hi, I'm Ashley Marie, and today we are making one of my favorites two different ways. Marshmallow frosting, marshmallow cream, marshmallow fluff, whatever it's called, it's delicious. If you love marshmallows, don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss some of the amazing summer recipes I have coming up. Let's get started. Oh, oh. So my marshmallow frosting and my marshmallow cream are actually the same overall ingredients, but just done in different ways. In fact, both of them are meringues. One is more Swiss-based and one is more Italian-based. Whether you heat the egg whites and the sugar together, or you heat the sugar and pour it into the egg whites, the result is the same. This is going to stabilize and hold onto the egg whites, creating this wonderful frosting that is not going to melt. Just like when I stabilize my whipped cream and I use gelatin. We're gonna start with what I call marshmallow frosting. Now this is an easier technique to make. It has slightly less ingredients and the end result is wonderful. This is also known as a seven minute frosting or an American meringue. I use this on top of my tarts. Uh, I use this on, in my ice cream. I use this on top of ice cream. We're gonna add all the ingredients except for the vanilla into a large, cause this gets fluffy, a large mixing bowl over a saucepan of water. So egg whites, sugar, and corn syrup. Always use a metal bowl. A glass bowl will work, but metal bowls are better with egg whites. In fact, copper is the very best, but it's expensive. I am totally saving up for a copper bowl. There's something in the way the egg whites reacts to the copper and it just, you end up with a much lighter and fluffier egg white. So I've started heating my water. Now we want to start mixing this right away, even though it's not hot yet, because if I wait until the water is boiling, it's actually going to cook those egg whites and we don't want scrambled egg whites, we want to make frosting. So I'm gonna start beating it now. I'm gonna keep beating it as it heats up and keep beating it and keep beating it and keep beating it until soft peaks form. And then we're gonna take it off the heat. That should take about four to five minutes. We are now at soft peaks and it's time to pull it off the heat. Now you can either take this mixture and put it into a room temperature bowl or I don't like getting two bowls dirty so I just put it in a larger bowl filled with ice to help cool it down quickly. Now we're going to add our vanilla and keep beating until we get stiff peaks. And we have stiff peaks. Look how pretty, chick, chick, chick. Totally stiff. We are ready. Mm. All right, now for our second recipe. I call this one marshmallow cream. Uh, it's a little bit of a trickier technique, but the results are stunning. All right, so because this is meringue based, you want to make sure you're using a metal or a glass bowl. Metal would be preferred, glass is second place, but you do not want to use plastic. Plastic holds onto the grease, no matter how much you clean it, and it will actually destroy meringue. Your meringue will just never come together properly, so trust me, metal bowl. So first up, we're going to whip our egg whites. Now you can add a little bit of cream of tartar that is optional, and then I have a little bit of sugar, and we're gonna add this sugar once it gets foamy as it's mixing. And you want to beat that until soft peaks form. Now while we're whipping those egg whites into soft peaks, we're going to make the sugar syrup. So I have some water and some sugar and some corn syrup. Now we want to heat that up until it hits 242 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, and that is just above, ditch above the soft ball stage. Now remember, depending on where you live, you might have to adjust the temperatures. 242 degrees Fahrenheit is a sea level temperature. Make sure that you test your candy thermometer and see what adjustments you need to make. All right, we are up to temperature. Now it's time to pour our hot sugar into our egg whites. Now, if we just pour it straight in here, these whisks that it's gonna hit are gonna fling hot syrup everywhere. And I don't know about you, but I don't like burning hot sugar being thrown at me. So, what you want to do is pour it over here where the beaters start bending down and in between the side of the bowl and where the beaters bend down. And that's gonna be the magic spot that we wanna hit 
with this thin stream. So turn it on and pour it while it's mixing. Now I'm gonna put the lid on and turn it up on high. All right, check that out. How thick and luscious does that look? I just wanna take a big bite. So that's it, we're all finished. Marshmallow frosting and marshmallow cream. They're both white, fluffy, light, delicious. They're both glossy and smooth and, mm, dang, they really smell good. <laughs> I will say the difference between the two, the marshmallow cream, I think ends up being slightly more stable, um, but that's, that's kind of it. So depending on what you're using it for, I use them pretty interchangeably depending on the recipe, kind of depending on how many egg whites I have or how much time I have. You can pipe them both, you can frost with them both. Uh, you can use both of them as toppings, as fillings. Whichever one you use, just make sure that you use it right away and that you use it quickly. It's at its thickest right after you finish beating it. If you're using it as just a topping or as a marshmallow fluff, you can put it in an airtight container in the fridge and it will last for a couple of days before it starts to separate, but it will get droopy as it sits there. It won't ever be as firm. I use both of these all the time. I will include links down below so that you can check out some of the other recipes that I use these for. And uh, let's see. Mm. Seriously, they're both amazing. If you try either one of them, let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear what you think. Thanks for watching.